Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday night, and that means it's time for Sex on Kava. My name is Ethan Moore, and uh, I'm doing the announcing tonight because it's actually not Saturday night. And I'm not here at Iwana Kava, and I'm not with Rich Kennedy, and I'm not with Mei Mei Duran. In fact, we took the week off for New Year's. But that is good news for you, the listener, because we decided to bring you a special episode, The Best of Sex on Kava. That's right, all your favorite bits in one place. We've got pickup lines from Creepy Greg, safety tips from Mr. Payne, Luba the sex therapist will tell us about her wacky patients, Newsgirl Mei Mei wants to cut off everyone's Johnson, Rusty the Fisherman tells us his stories of riding on the short bus, and lots more. Plus, special appearances from Eric Rosenblum, Mike Soa, Khalil Phillips, Dan Weiss, Brett Engel, Wallonius Hatcher, Minda Moe, Dan Long, Kat Toledo, and Edwin Feliciano. All coming up right now on the best of Sex on Kava. Do you do you really get a lot of women, Greg? Is that your that's your thing? I get enough, yes. Enough? What does that mean? It's uh, w- uh, you need to give me a. How do you do it? Is uh, how do you get le- the ladies? We d- we want to know. How do you? Rich and I are listening with bated breath. <laughs> what? We're listening with bated breath. <laughs> how do you get the uh, girls? Uh, some of them are online. Uh, yeah. Some of them here at Kava. Oh, yeah, yeah. people oh. get laid here. What? Yeah, I, I, Rich, you told me no one has ever. <laughs> I know for sure I have. Well, it's not I know, like okay. I'm, I'm going to reveal everything yeah, so as, uh, far, as far as Kava goes, but uh, some of them online, some of them here at Kava, yeah. uh, some of them at other places that uh, I'd prefer not to say out loud. The arcade? Okay. How do you yeah, the video arcade. No, not the arcade. <laughs> he, likes, he likes the 14-year-olds, you know. No. So no, you like Miss no, Pac-Man. I don't like 14 years old. How do you entice the ladies, though? Like, how do you get them into your trap? Uh, he wears that gamer hat. Confident. <laughs> Confident. <laughs> okay. Most most, wim- most most women that I've most women that I've I've been with, they 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 enjoy a man with confidence. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I you can laugh all you thing. want, but but you know it's true. He's so confident on and the microphone. <laughs> that, uh, you know, no, uh, I mean, I mean, well, d- sort of hemming and hawing through the whole thing here. No, I, I'm just trying to talk over you guys. That's all. <laughs> are, you, are you? Is the passive aggressive thing? Is that? Does that work on the ladies? Is yeah. that? Oh. You got to say this. No, aggressive, aggressive. Okay. <laughs> So you tell them. Oh, the sarcasm aggressive. button wasn't on again. I'm so, just kidding. <laughs> so you said you oh, meet them online. You invite them over to play games. No, I invite them over to fuck. Oh wow! Oh, this guy, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. No, I invite them over to fuck. So if they're saying yes, are they kind of um, sleeping and leaving you? Not necessarily. Usually, it's. I would say seventy five twenty five. Casual encounters. Seventy five percent is I'm sleeping with them and kicking them out of my house. Twenty five percent of it is that what you said is is that I'm sleeping with them and they're leaving me. Hump and dump. Uh-huh. But the one that you're kicking out of your house, are they kinda like not inviting you to their homes because they don't wanna they don't want you to know where they live? Mm, not necessarily, no. Do you know where they live? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, he's known for weeks before he meets them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I invite him over to fuck. One funny incident with that was uh, when I was in, uh, you know, visited Virginia a long time ago, and uh, some some guy came over me, you know, I was talking to you all from New York, no, 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 no. Well, I'll tell you something, son. South's going to do it again. And my friend says, in a typical New York fashion, what they do the first time, they fucking lost. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you New Yorkers with your snappy comebacks. Yes. Yeah. So that didn't work so good. Yeah, it didn't work great. Maybe you could just have a flag with that, with like a New York Yankees symbol, and it would be like, that would be the anti-Confederate flag. Right. 
You fucking lost. Yeah, how'd that work out for you? Hey, (laughs) Sals. You lost, assholes. Maybe we put away the battle flag of a losing fucking country that doesn't exist no more. (laughs) What do you think, Meme? Do you think they should, uh... Do you think the Confederate flag's a a good thing to be uh, flying around Fort Lauderdale? No, not at all. Not at all, right? No. You do have that Confederate flag. If you see that, it's a bad sign, right? (laughs) She has a Confederate flag bikini, though. What? Oh, that was. It would be interesting if, like, a, for like a black chick just to, to rock it, you know? No, yeah. it would like, yeah, not. It's a fashion it be, statement. Yeah. It would be very. I I think it's so stupid how people are trying to hold on to something that has no relevance to today, and they try to say, "Oh, it's heritage." Well, you know, the Holocaust was heritage. You don't want to put the <laughs> swastika on your shoulder and be like, "Oh, this." Is my no, you want to put it on your forehead. That's where, <laughs> <laughs> like Charlie Manson. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like and never work it's again. A, it's just a part of well. German culture. Yeah. You don't understand. It doesn't mean about hatred. <laughs> no, it's and that's that's. It's like yeah. It's about it's not it's about heritage. It's true. No, it is the about heritage of owning people. That would be the heritage. Right. Or w- cooking them. But it, but it but it wasn't just about owning people though. I mean, it's it's true. It was also about uh, not being it, so nice no, to the Native Americans. It was, it was about, about selling them as well. Economy, yeah, right? yeah, owning them, <laughs> selling <laughs> them, breeding them. Hang on, it making was, them do the work. What'd it was say? supposed to be uh, for the e- economic reasons, right? But slavery was a huge um, number. Oh, for. I, I agree with you. So of course, it's about slavery, and they just need to get rid of it. And it's just not be it's, over it's it. It's not that I dismiss it or or that I embrace it in any way. It's just. Uh, I just feel that it's a part of American history. Okay. That, and then you need to put that in a museum. You know. And what I, mean? I agree with you. So I'm not saying forget about what's, it. I'm what's, saying what? What? Are, so what's your? What are you? What are you trying to say, Greg? What do you think they should do with the flag? Uh, I don't think it should be on display as it is now. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But I do think it is part of American history as far as the uh, uh, the Civil War. Of course. It is. I don't think anyone's debating that it's a no, part of history. I, no, I, I, I don't think anybody's debating that it's part of history either. But uh, the, <laughs> way, the way... So why are you way, bringing up the point? What's your point? The, the, the point is 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 that people just, just want to wanna, uh, stow it away as just a symbol of uh, a bad time in our history. And what do you think they... What do you say to those people? What's your rejoinder to them? Yeah. Excuse me? What do you what, say? What do you, what's your reply to the people that say that we should stow it away? Stow it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't tell if you're trying to say it's a good thing or a bad thing. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. That's my whole point. He's saying it exists. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying it, it, it. I'm not saying that it just exists. I'm saying that it's a part of American history. How about uh, this? No one's saying that it's not a part of history. I don't care. It, it, I'm not sh- sure what your point is. It shouldn't be flown from a state capital it should I, be I agree with Rich a, okay. or a school or something like that but I agree I mean, with Rich for those guys in the truck right I like to know <laughs> I like to know that I was like okay I'm staying away from those motherfuckers right right yeah thanks for uh, flying that flag sure. so we know uh, which cars to avoid no I yeah. gr- I agree with that I was like you know what I'm not gonna of- cut that guy off no. That's what I thought to myself. I was like, you know, I'm just going to get out of his way. I kind of pulled over like as if it was like an emergency vehicle. Yeah. Let's just clear a path for those gentlemen. Yes. But exactly. I feel like this is the one time America actually could learn from Germans. Right. And like just not, you know, make a huge thing about it. Just quietly put it to the side and be like, yeah, you know, it happened, but we don't talk about it. Well, you know, there's many. No, the Germans do talk about it. It's in their schools. It's called like the national shame. It's actually banned. Um, totally for them to have it it's not allowed to be displayed anywhere which i actually disagree with that in terms of america because i think those guys have the right to display it yeah you know if they want to it's fine whatever uh like like i said you know like rich said you know to avoid them yeah um but uh so i i I'd kind of disagree with the germans going so far as banning the swastika but, but look, uh, I mean, look at all the stores that just decided they're not going to carry it anymore right you just kind of let the market take care of that and then uh but in germany they they do focus on it you know in, in other words like it's taught very like the holocaust and the history is taught very extensively in the schools um so people know about it and yeah. cross-referencing and to the to the rebel flag that's that's what i'm saying is is that it should be taught as far as right slavery. everything from slavery to to the, to the, the civil war the non-combative things that the the, the flag representative re- right. represented at the time Exactly. Like what? Like what? 
Southern pride. Well, there were. I think there was a lot of people in the South that w- that didn't own slaves. Yeah, they, they yeah, they were uh, they were called slaves. There was those were the uh, <laughs> <laughs> those are the ones that didn't own. No, I think there was a lot of people no. who couldn't probably couldn't afford it. No, they just it's poor true. white poor white folk. Sure, you mean they, they were called Irishmen? Servants? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Well, they were in danger of becoming slaves themselves. They were like, <laughs> they were, keep that slavery shit, or else we're next. It's true. <laughs> they were we, the Irish, basically were slaves too. It's true. At well, certain points, I, I think you can deny it or 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 uh, uh, put it down all you want. It is a part of American history. <laughs> Greg is really it's hammering true. on this. It Are you is. looking? Uh, part of Greg's game. He's a gamer. Is he's looking to meet some. Uh, Rebel girls, some red, uh, red, uh, yeah, some no. redneck chicks, no, some white supremacist chicks, no. I Going down to the compound Daisy there, Dukes type chick, yeah, a little, yeah. He's looking for Daisy Duke. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Greg's next move is he's actually going to paint his uh, his car out front like the General Lee. Absolutely not. And go cruising for Daisy Duke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I invite him over to fuck. Greg, what's your number one technique? What's your like never fail technique that always works with the ladies? To uh, be yourself. Be yourself. That doesn't work. Be like, yourself. People don't like myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strike that one. What's number two? What's number two? Be yourself. <laughs> Creepy Greg is saying. <laughs> All right. What about the girl from Walgreens? What about the girl from Walgreens? How when did you pull that off? You ho- you All I did was uh, it was very up. late at night. and uh, You hooked up with a hot girl from Walgreens? How did that work? Uh, it was very late at night. I was checking out, and I just asked her if she wanted to come home with me or she wanted to go out and get a drink late at night. She was like, absolutely, I get off at 1 o'clock. Nice. Okay. And then she got off at 2. Ooh. And then she what? Oh. And then she got off at 2. <laughs> she got off at 1, and then she got yeah. off at 2. No. No, she got off at one, and I came back. <laughs> <laughs> He's still not following. <laughs> no, that's What cool. happened when you took her home? Fucked. Does did you that, fuck her? Yes, I fucked her. <laughs> but did she get off? Yes. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Does that matter? No, not really. If they get Ooh. off? No. Well, yeah. Unless you're trying to see her again, it doesn't matter. What do you think, Greg? Does it matter if you if, if she gets off? For me, it does. You get off on her getting off. He's a generous Absolutely. lover. Generous yeah. lovers. Yeah, giving. Generous lovers. Yes, they care. Well, I think you, the two of you already pointed that out, that that's my, one of my character defects is that I'm a generous lover. No, and I don't that, think we said that. Yeah, we didn't say that about your lovemaking technique, which apparently is to fuck them. That's <laughs> 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 Bring him home, fuck him. It sounds too close to Buffalo Bill when you say it. That's what's scary to me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. No, I invite him over to fuck. So, okay, you met this girl, right? At Walgreens. You saw her at Walgreens. Was she like a cashier? Yeah. Yes, she was a cashier. And you and you would go in there every day and you'd buy stuff? Do you no, buy like, not every day. Okay, okay no, you didn't go every day, but often. Often, yeah. and then you would. Um, did you start buying like progressively sexier items? No, or items that would make you look very no. you know, manly? No, just bought whatever. Box of Magnum XL. Right, you just, yeah. <laughs> Ring these up, honey. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going. Trudy's like water. <laughs> what are you doing later? Oh, so, so you you established a relationship. You didn't just like her the first time you asked her. Like, you want to go home with me? You've already had you've already had met her and had banter. You had a rapport. Stuff. I don't think you would say a rapport. I would. Three ninety five, sir. Was it cold, or did have you talk to her a little bit before? I'd... Yeah, I had talked to her a little bit before. Yeah, yeah, that, that is rapport, my friend. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so, I still give so her credit. So then I stand though. corrected. That's rapport. So you had some. You, you, yeah, you, she. You were familiar with one another, and then you uh, just said, "Can I get your number?" Yes. Got her number. Called her up, and that night, she came over. Uh, no, we met at. Uh, uh, what's that place called uh, with the green sign? <laughs> Pollo like, Tropical? Uh, no. 95? <laughs> no, it's open real late. The interstate? Uh, uh, quarter Deck. Quarter Deck. Quarter Deck. Okay, you met her at the Quarter Deck here in Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. And then what did you do there? Uh, bought her a few drinks. Uh, How many? Bought, if, if you uh, drank till she couldn't I, see 25? No, I bought, her, I bought her two. Uh, what, 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 I'm not real familiar with the drinks. Long so. Island iced tea with roofie. No, mojito, yeah. Mojitos, I think <laughs> they're called. Mojito! Right. Okay. With a roofie. Two, two of those and... Uh, and 50 Xanax. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, and bought her dinner and... Uh, oh, dinner, too, huh? Dinner. Okay. Yeah. And then what? 
You fucked. <laughs> 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 you bought her dinner. Did you eat? Did you eat or drink, or you were just sort of sitting there across the table with nothing in front no, of you? No, no, I. <laughs> She's I, just I, eating. I had a coke and uh, some French fries. I really wasn't that hungry. Yeah, he just wanted that pussy. Usually, the girl is like, you know, having just a little something, and you're eating the full meal. You, you flipped it. Well, you know? she worked a whole shift. She was hungry. Right. That's right. Um, and uh, well, she's trying to get her weight up. You know, she's, you know, she's got to got to make the fight. P- perhaps. <laughs> right. Or maybe she should have <laughs> got her weight down. <laughs> the sumo wrestler. <laughs> you took her over in the U-Haul. You strapped on the feedback. <laughs> then what happened? What happened? Uh, we went back to my house, which is only up the street. No, oh, you planned it very carefully. Yeah. Quarter deck. Yeah, quarter deck is only up the street from my house. How many of your prey have come through the quarter deck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you walk in and they're you're like the usual, you're like yeah, yeah, sir. Get it, go get the roofies. We're gonna we making the drinks now. I would I wouldn't I would say just actually that one lately. Okay. Lately. But yeah, how about now? As lately. of late. Right. As of late, yeah. Okay. So that's it's that easy. You just talked and she was enthralled with you and. Greg's got game. He couldn't look away. He is truly a gamer. You really are a gamer, man. He's living up to the hat. What, what's the What's the game though? What do you say to the girl? Like, I just he, tell him. I just tell him exactly what I think. And what was that? That I think they're beautiful and I want to fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, do you, and do you actually say that? Do you, do you say like? Do you, is there a point? Drop the f bomb. No, yeah. Is there no, a point I, in the evening I, where you say no, let's no. fuck? No, I I don't say fuck. I, I I tell them that they're beautiful and that I'd like to take them out. Would they like to go out? Okay. But they're already out with you. No, 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 no. no. When they're behind right. the counter at a at a Walgreens or but, a Publix or whatever the <laughs> case may be. The, the Taco <laughs> Bell, right? The porno shop. Not a CVS though. No, no CVS. CVS. No, no, no CVS. porno shop. So so then, but then in the in the course of the evening, is it like let's go home? Let's let's uh. Let's should go to my we, place we and fuck. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Use, do you use the F word there at that point? You're looking pretty sexy, baby. How about we fuck? <laughs> Does that happen? Does that happen? Is that part of the... <laughs> You're just grinning at me. I guess that's what... That's, that's, that's yes! A yes. That's like a, a resounding yes. How, all right. How about uh, some news, May May? Let's do that. All right. Yeah, let's get off this weird subject. All right, we got to... <laughs> deal yeah. with well um where's my uh music oh hang on just a second any time rich <laughs> well just we one more a second a little more dead air for you for us just one more second if you don't mind <laughs> this, right. and now may may rants on news with may may durant Go ahead, rant. All right. So this news comes from the Washington Post. It says, white woman accidentally impregnated by black man sperm. Oh, shit. Right oh, back no. to it. God damn it. We're right back I to it. I thought we were safe. <laughs> and loses legal battle. Oh, my goodness. All right. So what happened? A white woman who sued after she was accidentally impregnated with the sperm of an African-American man who will be forced to raffle the uh, lawsuit after an Illinois judge tossed out her claim against the sperm bank. Uh, Jennifer Camblett failed suit against Midwest Sperm Bank in 2014 because she was artificially inseminated with sperm from the wrong donor and gave birth to a mixed-race daughter. Mm. Now, the sperm bank apologized and refunded part of the <laughs> cost... <laughs> But that. I'm sorry. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just very fucking <laughs> <and> funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we funded part of the cost. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did that happen? <laughs> I, I mean, we sh- you should be happy that you have a baby. Here's the black but discount. But you are expecting yeah. one color, and you get a different one, and all of a sudden, you just yeah. You're like, wait a minute. I ordered the BMW uh. that was. Silver, why? Yeah, I put the deposit down early and everything. What's it does it after a while? It'll fade, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, it gets it gets worse because now she's suing because the mistake caused her family stress, pain, <laughs> suffering, and medical expenses. 
stress, pain, suffering, and medical. What medical, medical expense? Well, they had to get her like sickle cell stuff. Was <laughs> <laughs> that is or did they try and aerate <laughs> <laughs> hypertension? She had to get the medication. <laughs> or they did aerate and they tried to aerianize her. Well, her like Michael Jackson. Her reason was that she feared that her daughter Peyton. Peyton what? Now three would be painted. Grow up. painted. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she thought that her daughter would grow up to be an outcast. So that's why she was just like, "No, this is." She's horrible. like, "Not a member of Outcast." <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Anyways, um, Atlanta hip hop sensation. <laughs> Attorneys for the uh, sperm bank had argued that wrongful birth suits typically apply to cases where the child is born with a birth defect that doctors uh, should have warned parents about. There's a wrongful birth? I heard a wrongful death. I never heard of that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, well, you can sue for that. You can sue for anything. Okay. Yeah. Well, no. She's suing because it says it's a breach of warranty. <laughs> Jesus! I can only get a ninety-day thing with this. <laughs> like, I can't. it's gonna be great stories to tell the kid later on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, I got a discount on you. <laughs> 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 well, Jennifer claimed that she was unprepared to raise an African American child, and that her community had and had to her stock up on the cocoa butter. <laughs> You're just going on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I can't. This one is too. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's too funny. Ooh. It's too I easy. I thought you would like this one. Um, this is a great, the greatest story we've ever done. <laughs> and I also like the Midwest Sperm Bank. Yeah. That's a good name for a sperm bank. It is. <laughs> like, I, Eric, you couldn't just open up a sperm bank and just call, like, Eric Sperm Bank. No. Come on down and get a Eric cup of sure. sperm from Eric. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. You gotta name it like the Southgate yeah. Southgate Sperm Bank. I'd, I'd get sperm from there. You know, you gotta get a, sperm from there. You gotta be. A, it's gotta be a generic term. Be. Come on, y'all! Come on down to Midwest Sperm Bank. <laughs> 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 well, um, she said that her family members might not Ed sperm bank. be accepting of the child of a different race. Okay, she, she is accepting now. Not really. Um, <laughs> this is, kid's going through hell. She's like, yeah, the child's going to be victim of racism yeah. all his life from me. Uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be racist. Exactly. Against... <laughs> Would you it... name your daughter? Lippy. <laughs> oh my God. It still gets worse because getting a. Cannot get any worse. <laughs> she says getting a, a young daughter's haircut is not um, particularly stressful for most mothers. But to Jennifer, it was not a routine She'll matter. Stock up on relaxer. <laughs> because chemicals. her hair is typically. Of an African American oh girl. Oh my God, that's so awful. <laughs> so mean. That is yeah, so this awful. Yeah, this is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> this. <laughs> mm. But she saw to, to uh, at least have fifty thousand dollars in damages. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. You don't know what it's like. I take my daughter to get a haircut. You know they got that African hair. I don't know what to do about that. I'm not- I'm actually, this it's article weird. pissed me off. Like, I was It is. Work. It's awful, yeah. We, crazy. Really? <laughs> she could be a terrible mom. It, no. Oh, my God. Save her and her partner. Lessons. Who's you her partner? Did not. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Wait, wait, what's that? <laughs> Save on swimming lessons. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's right. Eric Rosenblum. Her daughter, her, she was, she was well, on, the, on, the pl- on the bright side, her daughter will have a huge <laughs> dick. That's, oh, wait, oh. no. <laughs> yeah, because... Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> but uh, so any more uh, cheesy, cheesy African American <laughs> references, guys? Yeah, <laughs> um, she's actually a lesbian, and she was upset that. Wait her- a second, this dyke has got problems with a black kid. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, she does. What's going on here? This is like so crazy. I mean, I feel like you can't be racist and still in two thousand. 15. Oh, you can. You, you definitely can. can. It's just like, <laughs> I podcast. think we just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. No, no, no. Um, I think it's horrible that her, the mom's acting like this. Yeah. It's horrible. It, well, I under, I mean, okay. It's human nature. It's like you you're you're not it, you got something that you weren't expecting. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I get that. But Here at the go. same time, eat even the the freaking uh customer, right? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. You're upset about you know, you didn't get the service you were expecting from the Midwest Sperm Bank. Yeah. Good name, but you know. 
Okay. That's right. First of all, they but, gave her half of what she paid for. I say, you know what? It was a mistake, but you still have a healthy baby. They should have given She's her three-fifths. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't stop. There's <laughs> too many. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he actually beat me to that. Name is, name, the <laughs> name is giving me a cold heart stare yeah. right now. <laughs> so, uh, no, you, you, okay, you go in there and you're expecting something and you get something different. I'm and I get that. But come on. She's your daughter. Yes. Be happy. I, I, you yeah. have a healthy daughter at that it's point. Your genetic material, it's not even an adopted daughter or something like that, which if it was adopted, like who cares, right? You know, you shouldn't really care about that kid. No, well, you know kidding. what you're getting. That's awful. Uh, but you, you're. It's this is. It, not, so I'm just saying. Not only is it your daughter that like legally you're taking care of her, but also it's from your own body. You gave birth to her. Yeah. I just feel like that's not a good. Um, it's not a good enough reason to like not want your your daughter. Yes. Because and, she's yeah. half. Well, black. she's not saying she doesn't want her. She just wants money. That's the other thing too. Yeah. Right? She wants. She wants fifty grand. She wants to be able to pay for like half a semester of college or something for a yeah, daughter. Her, yeah. her reasoning is so stupid. It's yeah. like, oh, I, I can't take care of her hair and she's going to be an outcast of the family and my community. It's just like... It's really... Uh, it's pretty cheesy. Calling the, no. <laughs> 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 go, on, go on, Eric. Say what you have to say. It's like, the way she's like... Well, here's another thing. Um, we're all... I mean, you're you're genetically or evolutionarily or whatever you're better off with more different kind of genetic stuff in the pot right yeah i mean she's probably going to be more resistant to diseases and where we're all going in that direction where did you what did you learn this <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry adolf um, i'm sorry to disappoint you i didn't i didn't know we had we had adolf in this on this uh, no time. this is an interesting discussion because uh, the lady has a good case she should be very upset. <laughs> what, would ha- what would happen if you were in charge? Well, we would have taken care of the situation <laughs> right away. All right. That's enough out of you, Adolf. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, let's get rid of Hitler right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole segment's been hilarious. That is pretty, it's pretty fucking funny. It really is. It's funny. You should always have on your safety gaggles. We've got a call from uh, Mr. Payne from the uh, Blue Point High School. Yeah, that's right. I got shop class going on in the background. Guys are working on their projects. Just a little, uh, you want to watch it when you're putting your dick in a waffle iron. The number one thing you got to worry about is lubricant, and Pam is not going to do it. You're going to need WD 40. <laughs> WD-40, and lots of it, because uh, Pam is, uh, you're not even going to get your dick out of there. Yeah, it's no good. Now you Make sure you keep your safety goggles on, too. <laughs> <laughs> you probably want to unplug the uh, the device, too, or is is the heat part of the, uh, the you know, is that part of the turn-on? That sounds very unsafe. Yeah, I personally, I wouldn't have the heat on, but if that's your thing... <laughs> You know, keep it on low. You know, there's only so much you can take. All right? So just watch out for that, guys. Just a quick aside for me. And keep it. Might as well put a smock on, too. <laughs> Safety goggles. You don't know that oil's going to spin. <laughs> just keep it going. It sounds, uh, it sounds like you got to get back to your shop class. Yeah, then. I got to go. <laughs> you should always have on your safety goggles. Rich, can you get Mr. Payne? Is that Mr. Payne on the line? Yeah, yeah, I'm right here, guys. So, so uh, Dan um, and, and Rick, if you don't know, Mr. Payne is a shop teacher over at Bay Point High School. That, uh, Bayport Blue Point High School system. Yes, I uh, teach shop in industrial arts. Okay, and uh, and my number one concern in the shop is safety. Okay, so what about uh, sex underwater? Yeah, I haven't experienced this myself again, but uh, if you don't have scuba gear or some sort of, uh, you know, way to get air down there, I wouldn't recommend it. It's like going on a bandsaw without your safety goggles. <laughs> Just not, I don't recommend stuff like that. If you have a, a scuba gear, you have the regulator in your mouth, it would be hard to give a blowjob, actually. Well, maybe a handy, <laughs> as long as it's safe. <laughs> Would you actually have one of those wetsuits that opens in the back, like with the trap door, like the uh, you know the old school pajamas? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, with the poop chute. That's right. 
<laughs> that would be safe. You could do that in a pool. In a pool, yeah. You, you would you? You'd probably want to get scuba certified first. Exactly. You want to go for your certification. Learn all the safety measures. Hey, hold on. Now, does uh, does WD forty work underwater? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it will not. It will not have the same properties underwater. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I was thinking, uh, Mr. Payne, maybe you could do a, you know, a promotional spot for Sex on Kava, or maybe uh, it would be better if you did a promotional spot for WD-40. Actually, you know, is there some sort of? Because I know that's your favorite product. Well, as far as a lubricant, you mention it every time. Lubricants and WD-40 has so many uses that uh, you just can't beat it as a lubricant. And you can use it in the bedroom. You can use it in your car. Or a, uh, a lock that won't that won't budge, or just about any application. When you have those uh, those handcuffs in the bedroom, yeah. yeah if you're in the S and M, there's a lot of gear gets jammed up. There's <laughs> a lot of activity goes on there. Are you into S and S and M? I have been in the past, <laughs> really. Uh, but it's hard to say, you know. Of course, I always establish a safe word. Are you I'm all about safety? <laughs> What's your safe word? <laughs> safety. <laughs> safe word is safety. Yes. Are you the one often being dominated, or the one dominating? Uh, usually, I dominate, but uh, you know, in a safe manner, so I know how to use the equipment, and a lot of people are inexperienced with the equipment. So I can uh, go ahead and do it in a safe way. Oh, so you're not, do- you know, you're not, you don't dominate because you like to dominate. You just, you want to make sure things are done in a safe way. Exactly. So, so that's you know, people get hurt in these things. It's one of the reasons I got out of it. People found out, I, you know, I just wasn't uh, pushing the limits enough, and I was like, because of the safety factor, I'm not going <laughs> to do that. You know, I don't. We're not here to get hurt, people. I got, I got a switch in the shop, turns every piece of equipment off. I got the same thing in my dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> got a kill switch in your yeah, dungeon. Yeah, and it lets the cuffs go, everything. Has any chick ever asked you to pour hot candle wax all over her? Yeah, I've had that. I've had that request, but that's that doesn't sound safe. <laughs> Is there any safe way to do that? With a schmack on, a fireproof <laughs> schmack. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> you wouldn't really be able to feel the sensation. Well, these are the, pl- the complaints I got. <laughs> I didn't understand the essence of S and M, the fact that they wanted to be hurt. So it's like I, I couldn't understand it. I thought it was more about safety, <laughs> safety and masochism. You thought that was what the S was for. Yeah, yes, <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. I had no idea with sadism, which I found to be a little crazy. <laughs> sadism is inherently unsafe. That's the problem. Yeah, so you had to get out of it. I got out of it. <laughs> I sold all the equipment on uh, eBay and. Uh, I What's don't do the most that. freaky fantasy you've ever performed? <laughs> well, uh, not too much into the freaky thing again with the safety. Uh, maybe I uh, covered a woman in WD-40 and, uh, you know, went to town with one of the, the bigger dildos. A uh, dildo. He yeah. A dildo. Just a standard dildo. Yeah, no, one with a uh, uh, had an engine on it. <laughs> a black and decker. A black and decker? Yeah, three three horse. Do you find any uses for uh, American Standard wire gauge in the uh, in the bedroom there? Not in the, not in the bedroom. Not in no. the bedroom. Okay. But uh, someone did steal our American Standard wire gauge from the shop. Apparently, they thought they needed more than we did, <laughs> which uh, I just find to be a... Uh, very, very uh, aggravating. So you're still dealing with the kids down at the high school. They're still... Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of missing items and kids coming in high, smoking marijuana and whatnot. And uh, I tell them, that's not safe. Can't work equipment if you're all stoned. <laughs> I just like how Dan was like interviewing Mr. Payne there. <laughs> that was great. All right, let's 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 let Mr. Payne go. You have to get back to your shop class, presumably. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. I love when Mr. Payne comes on and tells us about safety. It's it's interesting that he didn't actually know that um, what the S stood for when he got into it. He no, seems like I think kinda... he was just excited about all the equipment. <laughs> 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 thought it was like shop class, you know. <laughs> safety gaggles. Yeah, uh, well, you see, I don't agree with her eyeball licking because you should always have on your safety gaggles. <laughs> <laughs> and if uh, you're just going to go ahead and lick someone's eyes, it's the whole reason to have the safety gaggles. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. One thing that I forgot to mention is that I'm also um, a sex addiction therapist. No, you said that. Oh, did I? Yeah, you said that, yeah. Oh, okay. So is that 
like habitual masturbation or just that's like, when you actually are addicted to having sex with drugs like with the drugs <laughs> like you have sex with a bag of cocaine that can be anything that uh, sex on kava yeah. That, you have sex uh, with the kava. Yes. <laughs> a bucket of kava. Inside the kava. J- jump in it's and jerk extra. off. In the, yeah. You fill a kiddie pool Fix up with mouth. kava <laughs> and you masturbate. Ow. <laughs> so that's sex with kava. So tell us about some of your lunatics. Yeah, tell us about it. your weirdest, uh, you know, well, patient. Just, you know, people people who uh, have sex addiction, I mean, it's it can be funny, but it can be also miserable because people get all kinds of funky illnesses and and you know they uh have broken relationships and um hilarious hilarious yeah. stuff this <laughs> <laughs> is good stuff <laughs> i keep it coming all right <laughs> Listening to the best of Sex on Kava. If you enjoy the show, tell a friend. And of course, check us out on iTunes or your favorite Android podcast app. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. You can check out our website at sexonkava.com. And you can also write us at sexonkava at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. And now back to the best of Sex on Kava. Coming up on this segment, Pistol Pete gives dating advice. May May Duran tries to cut off everyone's dick, and Rusty the Fisherman tells us about his days riding the short bus. All coming up right now on the best of Sex on Kava. Okay, how about this? What if they try to get one of the ladies home? What would they? What should they do? Well, I invite them over to fuck. That's step one. <laughs> Isn't that it? I mean, I'm used to Greg method. It hasn't worked out yet. <laughs> it's using a that. numbers game. You have to keep He's going. Like, uh, I have several restraining orders now pending against me. Okay. I haven't got it to work yet. What do we do? We're at the party. All right, Pete. So what do we do? The party. Oh, shit. There she is. Oh, she probably needs a napkin for her drink. It's a little wet. Let me get a napkin. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. I, I didn't know if you needed a napkin for this. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of napkin talk here. <laughs> that was the secret. Take this napkin, yeah, bitch. Just, ooh, you know what? You're you're moving you want ahead. that fucking napkin, don't you? I see, I see what he's doing. What he's doing is yeah, he's yeah. letting and then her you go, go for her friend because she's been looking at you the whole damn time. You yeah. Just on, you he's, he's making her feel comfortable. Like, I noticed that you need help. Here's an assistant. Hey, and sloppy then... bitch. Here's a fucking napkin. <laughs> <laughs> so you just say a lot of nonsense? Here's a napkin. Yeah, and then he brings a carrot you go, with him. Well, sloppy then bitch, then sloppy I've always bitch. got a back up there. If they say no, they pull get a carrot rude. out of your back pocket. I say, well, this napkin was for your fucking bra, anyhow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so napkins, this napkins and carrots. Your bra. <laughs> yes. My carrot's fucking weird. Yeah. This isn't helping at all. I feel like I. <laughs> Did I take acid earlier tonight? What's <laughs> happening tonight? I'm telling you. I think you took Abby. <laughs> oh, yeah, Abby. I took yeah. Abby. I took Abby. Right? Oh, my God. Pete, go over there and get one of those ladies to come talk into the microphone. How, take a bet first and how long it's going to take. I'll All give right. you two minutes. Two? Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, 90 seconds. I'll go, go, go give Pete a minute and a half. I'm going to time this, too. Well, I invite him over Precise. to fuck. See Rich, what do you say? Faith they have One second. <laughs> invite him over to fuck. Seconds. I'm down to seconds. Just ask them if they want to come and participate in the podcast. Yeah. Don't tell me what to do. You're going to ruin my mojo. <laughs> All right. I know. Why am I giving you advice? Uh, you know what you're doing. I'm like, no, we needed to talk to the podcast. He's like, no, I'm trying to take him home. We have different goals. Yeah. You had me with the napkins. So. You did? <laughs> that worked. That worked. That you, worked. This is how you pick what? up a lady. You go invite her to the podcast. Or you give her a fucking First nap. First of all, you're in the back too far. I'm, yeah, too, I'm too far away. You gotta be elevated. If oh, you're he's in the queer there. zone. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's why I like it in the back. Talk about being gay. All right, when are we starting? Right now. Right now. Go. The, the Go. clock is, t- is starting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll give you a step by step audio. 
Pete's on the move. <laughs> Pete's gonna over there. Should, whipping out the napkins. Off. Should we do? Napkin, napkin, should we do napkin. more news? While we, uh, yes. While we wait. I don't know if we have that much time. Look at him go. Oh my God, Pete's gonna. He, he's actually. We're actually watching him. Out the carrot. He's talking to he's the lady. The carrot. He's got oh my God, the he's got her over napkin, here. She's napkin, joining. Napkin, napkin, napkin. She's joining the podcast right now. Oh wow, so that 27 was fast. Seven seconds. Twenty-seven seconds. Hi. Rusty's here. Guys, Rusty's here. I'm Rusty's here. here. Have you ever, Rusty, have you ever been uh, deceived, you know, by, like, in any way by, like, a lady? And I don't mean, like... What do you mean deceived? I don't know. Like, did you ever, like, like you found out something different? Like, maybe a girl wasn't as hot as you thought, or she was, like, fake in some way or anything like that? Um, no, but I did date a girl for a while that... I know if I just throw any general thing at Rusty, he has a story. So go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that that had sex with multiple men at once, more than once, and like nothing wrong with I, that. I know it. I it, it I I lost pretty much all my respect for that for that person. Mm. I don't know if you guys agree. I've contemplated with it a lot in my head. I think it's different for a girl to have sex with two to three guys at one time than it is with a guy to have sex with two to three girls at one time. <laughs> like, I think there's a certain well, I know there's a lot like, more dicks involved in one situation on, than the other. A lot more, like, <laughs> probably pain in the morning, you know, a lot more with, with a guy. I think maybe it's more sensual, sexual. I don't yeah. know. I think it's more of like... And I, I, it took me about six months to realize, well, this is why I have no respect for the girl, because she's been... Pound it out. <laughs> Pound it out. Multiple guys at one time, and I just, yeah. it took me a well, while. Ru- no, Rusty's yeah. just impatient. He didn't like waiting in line every time. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. He, yeah. These yeah. chicks both pounded it out. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and it was, you could tell, too. <laughs> you could tell. <laughs> yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah you beef can. curtains, right? Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. God. She's all pounded what, out what, back what, here. What, what do you think about Rusty's view on the ladies here, uh, <laughs> Maymay? He's losing his Johnson. I think he's, it's, he's, that it's drop been rich. gone. He's like first name on the list. Um, first name on the list. He's for pounded what? out. Like first of all, using the term "pounded out," and then <laughs> maybe he's not like Rusty. So and then, <laughs> like that alone, I'm like stuck on that word. Like pounded out. She was all pounded out, bro. I know how this girl liked it, and she did not like it. Like oh, be soft. Out. Like, it was like. Pound it out. <laughs> she wanted. Ladies and gentlemen, pound it out. Grab me, choke Pound me, it out productions presents. Like, was, she was a freak. Yeah, but that's I like that. Record. I thought that was great. That okay, was, that's the name of Willonius' record that. label. It's Pound I, it out like productions. <laughs> but with like three dudes doing that at one time, like that's freaking Yeah, but that's intense. also a double standard. Uh, Will, Will, told me that, that, Will told me that he wanted to try that at least once. And so I was <laughs> bang just, out. Bang out. What just, was it? Bang out. One you chick. just want to be in there somehow. I don't know how, you know. No, that, I, well, actually, I talk. I have a bit about that, about not running a train. Not running a train? Yeah. The Eiffel Towers? What, why wouldn't you run? You don't want to run a train. Why yeah. Not? Just because, like, I, I would be, I'm scared that when I'm busting a nut out, me and the other dudes will lock eyes. And, yeah, and become. It's only mates. gay if you look him in the eyes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yes. I, but I'm just saying, like, if you busting a nut and you're like locked eyes while yeah. you're busting a nut, I think that. That's yeah. true. I've, I've done a lot of things I've never done. Yeah, that <laughs> moment, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you suddenly, hear Lionel Richie. Hello. You become, <laughs> you become soulmates. You become soulmates. <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? Yeah. It? So I Is it like, me you're looking for? <laughs> it's too much risk. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I can see it when you smile. You should always have on your safety gaggles. My my brain is is unable to process this. Like, really? <laughs> no, why? There's the idea that a girl would like dicks. Too many like if, dicks. I brought it back. Too many if dicks was, on the dance floor. Yeah. Rusty's walking away here. Like in in terms of my comfort zone, I'm like way out of it. You're way out of your comfort zone. This is yeah. like when you talk about cutting off dicks. What uh? Yeah. What, what's <laughs> un, what's uncomfortable for you? That's right. What's uncomfortable? It's just blowing up the scene. That's right. <laughs> well, okay. It's very uncomfortable when I when you guys are blatantly disrespecting women. Like, oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. When not, you're just like, oh, yeah, we're going to pound women. it out. There's going to be three of us in the room. <laughs> and that's disgusting. And the fact well, that Rusty, Rusty said that. And the fact that Rusty is like, oh, I don't respect her. But if a guy does it, oh, yeah, that's 
great. Like, <laughs> I don't think we were disrespecting women, though. No. Well, Rusty was well, a little, but uh, to be fair, but <laughs> that's why he, that's why he gets laid so much. But you can't speak for all women. You can't speak for all women because some women like to be pounded out and want three guys in the room. Well, isn't feminism pounded. based on the experience of women? So yeah, like yeah. right, so if some women's experience, that's some women's experience. Is yeah. they like to pound it all. It's only it's not it's only about, about choice. The, it's not only about the experience of women, but it's also about being respected as well. You know what I mean? Oh, so you're gonna dictate to them what that means? <laughs> don't get don't they get to decide? So you saying that four people can't have sex together respectfully? <laughs> I like how it's four. <laughs> okay, <laughs> forget four. about three. We're going straight to four. <laughs> let's say let's you're say saying four. that a dozen people yeah, can't nah. have a beautiful. Yeah. Like a loving nice orgy. romantic experience. Yeah. No. Um You're saying that. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? You're saying if that. If you take that situation, four let's, guys let's and go back three to four. Midgets. Let's go back to four. Three guys Bruce and Jenner. one girl. Yeah. Bruce the girl Jenner. Is, is instantly disrespected and considered as a whore. But well, that's what guy, Rusty was saying, and I think that's I think that is raw, offensive, and wrong. I mean, I, I, I'm not with Rusty, Rusty on that. Unless she's he's been like, pounded yeah. out. If girls do, <laughs> <laughs> hey, if she's been pounded out, she's a whore. Right. That's Rusty's <laughs> like. If girls do it, I mean, this is what Rusty said literally. He was like, "Well, if girls do this, they're a whore. If guys do it, that's eh, okay." Well, so that's studs. not that's. That's not a very um, enlightened it's feminist okay. perspective, let's say. Yeah. Exactly. It's the okay guys that have done the pounding out, but they don't get any of the blame. Mm. They pounded her out. She's a whore now, but they're okay. They're okay? Yeah. No, they just pounded her out. <laughs> so so what's the respectful way to just trying to say pound, pound it out with a female, <laughs> in your opinion? <laughs> the respectful way to pound it out? How about not changing your opinion on her because you gotta beat it up like a feminist will. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how, you guys how, does so a, much. how does a feminist want a pussy beaten up? Yeah. I mean, it depends on the girl. I mean, it's her choice and how she wants her vagina being treated. However, so she wants the, four dicks in the, the same the vagina. Problem, mm. The problem with being a feminist Quality. is <laughs> people change their their views on you because of your choice and what you want to experience. Yeah. So if a girl does want three or four guys in a room with her, that's her choice. But when she walks out the room, she's already labeled as a whore. Well, right. Not necessarily. Did you well, by Rusty. By said? Rusty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, that's one guy. That's, that's not, true. That's yeah. all, all guys. I, yeah, I just, I'm going to disagree. Yeah. With Rusty. If I was pounding out a chick <laughs> with, with three other dudes... <laughs> You know, and I like afterwards. I I get her a towel or something, or maybe you know, so you can go use the shower now. Yeah. You, and then later, you know, open the, the door. Chick was a fucking hole. You, you open the door. You open the door for her. You know, that's right. Open the Kick car. Her out. Open the car door. <laughs> Push and, her and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't like us. Throw some money at her. You know, at the end of the day, get out of here, you whore. It's not about what. About I voted what for Hillary. Think. It's about what. Uh, you know the female thing, so you think it's not about about what the guy that's pounding you out thinks. <laughs> <laughs> the guys, the guys, pounding it out. Yeah. And you see why I want to remove all Johnson. Right. Like you see. <laughs> I liked it when Mr. Payne was talking about dildo care. <laughs> no, but it, it's it's the it's it's not. I, I just feel like main it's not thing so you want to take care of taking not, in mind when you're pounding it out. Is it, you know, you got to use the proper lubrication and you have to have the right tool for the job, you know? So, like, maybe one guy's uh, pounding it out on the pussy and the other one's got the ass. Someone's taking the mouth, right? And if there's more than uh, three guys, you know, want to get some handies going. <laughs> Is there, how do you decide who gets to, you know, in what yeah. order? Well, you want to take turns, number one. Draw straws or? Yeah. That's a fair way to do it. Yeah. Pound it out. What's the best <laughs> lubrication to use <laughs> in that situation? Uh, WD-40. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to go with a water-based rather than a, a petroleum-based no, lubricant? No, petroleum-based when you're dealing with five dicks. Because you're really pounding it out at that point. <laughs>
<laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I heard that uh, that's kind of lubricants can actually dissolve the condoms, or I guess we're not using. Oh, we're condoms. not. You're, you're beyond condoms. You're you're well, in Thunderdome I, now. You're just oh. pounding it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we at least have our safety goggles on? Yes, definitely, because there's going to be a lot of cross shots with this with the semen, and uh, you want to keep your eyes down too, gentlemen. Don't lock eyes, because then you start to hear Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs> Become soulmates. <laughs> Safety goggles, keep the eyes down and pound it out. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the way he says goggles. <laughs> goggles. Safety goggles. <laughs> That's right. A little semen splash there. Yeah. <laughs> Protect yourself. When the semen starts splashing, have those safety gaggles in. <laughs> so safety first with Mr. Payne, right? Absolutely. That's, that's the first thing when you're... Oh, later on, you want to get some uh, paint thinner and, you know, put it on the lady. You know, wash her down good. <laughs> Why paint thinner? I don't know. It's <laughs> clean. Some sort of a... <laughs> like turpentine? Yeah, turpentine, rubber down. <laughs> is that what uh, I mean that's that's part of the chivalrous code right of you course wanna, yeah and then you want to kick her out the car door <laughs> <laughs> pound it out yeah, pound it <laughs> May May is uh, is Mr. Payne safe from uh, your wrath absolutely rest? not no Mr. Payne's just another guy that's the thing what I like about him <laughs> he seems like you know he's he comes to you as he's your teacher yeah so he's gotta you know make sure you're doing the right thing he seems like an authority figure. Right. But he's also a guy. Yeah, I like to have a good time, too. <laughs> you found it out. Everyone found it in the Bitch can't stop laughing. It's fucking so funny. As um, a feminist, would you rather be the pounder than the poundy? I'm not answering that question. I don't need your fucking sympathy, man. I need my fucking Johnson. That would make it easier for May May to... Um, to chop off our dicks. I yeah. said we cut off your junction. Oh, that's... Yeah. How did you have that clip ready? <laughs> <laughs> Holy God. Because this is an ongoing campaign that I'm running. Uh, to cut off their penises? Damn. Well, I said already... we cut off your junction. <laughs> we are LaBear adjacent, too. You could do so much dick cutting. Right. There's want, a lot so of Johnsons. Do. Yeah. It's not just their dicks. It's pretty much world You mankind. want to cut off all you the penises? That. Well, She's let, been advocating for this. I know. Thank you. I oh like the, I, I I like the note of I'm incredulity. Shocked. Hold on. Hold on. Shocked. Let me explain. I let, need me, let her make her case. Yes. Ladies. Yes. Exactly. No. I need some kava right now. It's a very sane and rational okay, case. Okay. What I'm it sure. is is that in order for us to have world peace, Dan, you could you could jump in and agree with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in order for us to have world or don't. peace, you don't we have, have to. to uh, we have to cut off man penises. Okay. That's the only way to have world peace. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, Ms. Mae Mae Duran. It is so flawless. You, you said to, cu- to, end, <laughs> to, to perpetuate world peace, yes. we must cut off penises. You really so, can't yes. argue with that logic. Right. Is that because you're trying to end the population in order to create peace? No, no, no. What's this? the theory behind this? Okay. I'm really confused. All right. Don't worry. Okay. First of all, Because I really like penises, so th- it really <laughs> scares me when someone says to get rid of them all. There's still- like, what would I do? Yes. Thank there, you. Okay, Thank there's you. still going to be penises. All right. <laughs> are they going to be real or like robotic? Are they're they going to be. They're going to be real. Like prosthetic, but they're mostly for science. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to lose you yet. For instance, there's going to be a trial for every man out there with all their past, you know, uh, relations, and they have to determine whether they can keep their penises or not. Wait, wait. They determine the it criteria? themselves? No, no, no. no. There's like, a panel instance, of sorts, I would it's imagine. It's like a panel right, of, right. like, men and women, whoever you slept with during your lifetime. So if you're good at sex, you get to keep it, and if you're bad at it, it's off? It's off. Oh, I, you never brought this yeah, up. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it was, like, this you know, a whole sexual prowess. Okay, so are you good at sex, or? I'm, uh, well, I'm horrible at And it's off. <laughs> wait, so this is because we're bad at it. It's not, only for, it's not only about performance, but it's also about, like, how you treat it. Uh, how you treat women? Treat your you have to have like a certain GPA, is what I'm asking. As far right, as right, what are the criteria? Like to a C extend, plus up, like uh, to extend um, better humans on the world, <laughs> then yes. What about creepy Greg? Um, if he that's automatically oh, off. Oh, he doesn't get a trial. We well, invite doesn't him get over the to fuck. Go, creepy like Greg. Dollars. Creepy nothing. Greg invites you over to fuck. Yeah. And then um, what happens after that? 
<laughs> well, I invite him over to fuck. And then, uh, oh. and then I suppose you haven't met cut off your Johnson. Is that off? Of okay, that? okay, hold on, hold on. So I said we cut off your Johnson. <laughs> Is there also a vagina panel that's going to occur for people who are we getting rid of vagina? I mean, not. I, yes, I, I have to because I know a lot of women who don't deserve their vagina. I mean, that if is we're going to start taking sexual parts away, we should be equal opportunity I castrators, find, right? I find this exactly, whole thing to yeah. be macabre and what disturbing. What do you do? Fill it in with cement? <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, you could like stitch you it do up. Know. I don't need your fucking sympathy, man. I need my fucking Johnson. Did uh, what happened? Did did May May cut off anyone's Johnson? No, we started getting off into <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. She, she keeps yeah. pointing to me like I agree with <laughs> it, and I, it's like, yeah, obviously we should do it. Like I want to, exactly. I want to pursue other things, like, yes. other than just There's sex. So I want to get into I mean, scrapbooking and stuff. Like, think it's, about all the pressures that's going to be <laughs> off of you once yeah. it's gone. Yeah, I mean, I, I could, I and could it's not anything, totally man. gone could, because like, you said that you can keep the testicles and a little okay, leather pouch. Okay, you have an option. You have an option. Total cast. Or just chemical, like I, medical. I, I, all I can tell, I don't know what happened while I was gone, but all I can tell is that uh, we have an advocate in Minda. An uh, advocate? I'm horrified. <laughs> no, she, she thinks, it. no, she, I mean, oh. on, on the side of the penis. Oh my God, I'm pro horrified penis. by her entire plan. And I, I just have to say that every single person that, that uh, Meme has brought this up with has been pro penis. Because so you're I'm the so one, relieved. You're the one that's choosing I'm, the people that have to be on the podcast. If I chose then a lot of females would be have, like, uh, is this Dworkin? a no, off on. with the dicks? That's true because a lot of the girls that have come on have agreed in the beginning. They agreed right away out of some sort of I never agreed for the record. Minda is the first one. It's horrible. It's just like, this is I feel really like, is this like a Hillary Clinton plan? Like, is this off the <laughs> HillaryClinton.com? I'm trying, I'm trying to get in contact uh, with her to yeah. give her my ideas. Oh, but Yeah, why don't you throw that one out there? She won't win no matter what with that one. But she, Hillary oh, only wants wait. to cut off one penis, which is Bill. That's the only one. I don't know, man. She's been riding that shit all the way to the White House. That's I don't know why she cut it off That's now. Good point, yeah. Just because she's married to it doesn't mean she's riding it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your fucking sympathy, man. I need my fucking Johnson. Who do I have to vote for to not get this to happen? I feel like Trump would not support this. Like First of all, <laughs> you really would not allow penises to be cut right. off. This is something that is... Okay, uh, but you you guys are being too emotionally attached to it. I'm not saying your penises. I'm just saying penises in general. I'm going to support so, 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 the you know, first they came for the uh, penises of the, <laughs> of the Jews, but I was not a Jew, so I said nothing. Okay. Then they came for the penises of the uh, trade unionists, yes, but I was not a trade unionist, so That's I said nothing. And when they finally came for my penis, there was no one left to speak up for me. Yeah. That's wow. right. Okay. Right. Think this is, <laughs> all right. It's a slippery <laughs> slope. All I mean, right. How about this? Slope. How about That's this? Because we're, we're thinking about America. Let's say that we're just taking penises away from people like ISIS. Are you okay with that? Well, yeah, but they're not giving anything up. I, I'm just going to say, as a general principle, well, in terms of human rights, this is bad. No matter, even if it's a bad person, you're doing it to. So you want? So you are for ISIS? All right, you just. <laughs> I'd like a. That's exactly what you're promoting. ISIS. Why are you pro ISIS? I just <laughs> pro penis. You know, it's I, it's like the Pope. You know, he says the death penalty is bad. Even if the person did it, just anti-death penalty. I'm anti-penis penalty. Yeah, me too. And I'm, by the way, um, you're talking about voting. Staunchly. I am a one-issue voter on this. Yes. I will vote for anyone who does not support <laughs> this. Yeah. 2016, you guys, let's make it happen. I don't need your fucking sympathy, man. I need my fucking Johnson. I, what do you think about this, Cap? Maybe he wants to cut off everyone's dick. I said we cut off your Johnson. For science. I don't know. I think that's a, a green comic. <laughs> oh. All comics, when you start out, how long have you been doing comedy for? A, a year. I mean, you're not that, that green, but... Yeah, you should you'll, really be moving through this material. You'll, you'll, you'll get out of your dick-cutting face. <laughs> I don't know. If you just want to shock someone, then that's the thing to say, but... Not shock. It's for well. She's peace. been selling it for the last four months as an authentic uh, proposal. Sounds yes. too jokey to take serious. Like, how can you seriously believe that cutting people's penises off would create world peace? It would create hemorrhaging, and really weird. I, I, I think if it's, anything, it's, testosterone, maybe balls could be a little bit more. No, let's not give her ideas because we have to do this podcast no, no, no. every week. Eunuchs are family. eunuchs are considered holy at a wedding, and they're useful people in society in India. That's and they true. have great characters in Games of Thrones. 
I haven't seen Eunuch. it. But yeah. I know that in the ancient world, there were some very important eunuch advisors to emperors and people like that. Yeah, they're, See, and, they're, and now they're gone. Well, it's and good to keep the testicles. They make them into a little It's necklace. fucked up. There's no... Di- it's saying cutting dicks up is the same as guys saying, like, cut some tits off. Yeah, it's or macabre. Or cutting clits up. It's like not... Of course you agree with it's, it. No, it's, it's, it's scary. Uh, it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> no, I think... Because you're I, mostly involved. I'm attached literally to my penis, but I think it's um it's it's a bizarre and uh, macabre suggestion. Like, it's... it's Okay, so one time um, this girl told me that... She she was like, uh, she she didn't live here, and she or she didn't live in the same city as me, and so then she came to visit, and she was like, I wish I could cut your dick off and bring it back with me. Now, I was like, <laughs> that's terrifying. That's like disturbing to me because it's like I, I guess I know what you're trying to say, but that's not the right metaphor. That you <laughs> want to, you know what I mean? Like, because why would you suggest that? Exactly. You know, and she was like, I bet you want to cut my pussy off and keep it here, and I'm like, no, I don't want to <laughs> no. cut your pussy off. No me and How would that even work anyway? It's what hey. it's you should How do you get out, that uh, on a plane? If you want to really uh, step into the feminist feminist zone, uh, there's this great performance artist named Kembra Fowler, and she and her group have uh, they they it's like the thirteen uh, points of feminism or whatever, and one of them is to relieve men of their role as protector and predator, and that's like a big one because that like lets them chill out, <laughs> and you know technically like the identity they've attached to their penis gets detached, you know? But that's a, like, sort of social, so, sexual, social, you know, psychological kind of identity. It's, we're not literally talking about detaching the penis. I know, but detaching the things associated with it would be a good idea. Well, I, I, I Mamie, mean, would you, would you, would that fit into would your that proposal? Would that be enough? Yeah, would that be sufficient to satisfy your <laughs> your Blood thirst thirst. <laughs> for what, protect your provider? No. <laughs> No protector provider. I just want to know why why this is something that you want to advocate for months and months on the podcast. Are you a virgin? <laughs> she claims to not have a vagina, so yeah. we could dig into that. I don't have yeah, a baby. Is this a Star Trek thing? Wait I, a second. I, Wait a second. Yeah, that was on episode. Which episode did was, you write? That was Kat? what you you wrote. Wait a second. Do you are you a hermaphrodite? And do you have a penis that you want to cut off? So. Oh, projection. Oh. Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe it does have a vagina. <laughs> no, everything is all smooth. There's like a Barbie down there. Is this sounds like an invitation or something. Rich is out. laughing. <laughs> Rich is overcome over here. I don't need your fucking sympathy, man. I need my fucking Johnson. I'm down. If it still gets hard and you don't have balls that are hairy, I'm 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 down with that. <laughs> I'm down with that. I'm sure wow. it's everybody. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have a good one. So <laughs> maybe you you're you're halfway there. You have someone who's saying cut off the balls, not the dick. Okay. I can work with She's that. She's gonna <laughs> maybe we'll <laughs> Well it still help science. It is what I wanna know. Science. Because I thought the penises were going to help science. Are the balls gonna help? You know what? The balls will help because that's where the sperm home is. So We'll just chop all that off. Give them to We'll sign. make it a fashion statement. <laughs> Back up the dump it's truck. Airing. It's going to be full of balls. <laughs> the balls are going to be rolling down, right. <laughs> rolling all over the place. Got a few 18 wheelers full of balls. <laughs> For science! <laughs> you think Where do you ma- want them? Do you think it'll make the man more aerodynamic? <laughs> 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 Where do you want these balls? <laughs> From the maker of truck nuts. <laughs> That's, That's right. it. There you go. They're truck nuts. <laughs> Literal truck nuts. <laughs> Truck full of nuts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Rusty's here. Guys, Rusty's here. I'm Rusty's here. here. No, he's we just like to take you in small doses. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, yeah, you kind of do miss Rusty. Wonder where's one of his great stories. And then he keeps going on, and now you're on your thirtieth story, and you're like, I wish this guy would get the fuck out of right, here. Right, right. Yeah, Rusty, give us a quick, give us a short one. Tell us about, uh, tell us about the guy with the snake. <laughs> Tell us about yes. the time you wrote. The snake story. And you did, did you ride the, you actually ride the short bus? Is that true? I did not lick the window, though. Yeah. He ro- so that's a yes. He rode the short bus, did not lick the window. Did not lick the window. I never rode any bus ever, but if I was to ride a bus, it'd probably be the short bus. And but then, I would never lick the window. Tell us about the kid with the, the whip. Okay, this is, um, I had a kid. And so where did you go to school? What kind of school is this? This it wasn't in school. It was in the neighborhood I lived in. Okay, okay. It was in the neighborhood. This is an after-school at, story. At, oh, okay. It's an after-school special. At the time, at the time, I was in probably 
Third grade. Okay. Whatever. Something like that. So there was this kid. This is Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Fort, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Davy, actually. Okay. That's where this is going on. Yeah. Um, there was this kid, retarded Zach, that lived in the neighborhood. <laughs> and those were better you know, times. He really, was, he was like, he he was full on like something going on. It, it was a tot. It That's why he was down, in the tot cot. Down syndrome. It wasn't. It was something. Whatever. It was a retard. So my mom was always like, you know, be nice. He came to all the birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> Yes. The movie Catwoman came out. Yes. I don't know if you guys remember no, Catwoman. Yes. Was that Halle Berry? It sure was. No, before th- it was the original Eartha Catwoman. Kit? What? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't. No, it was Halle Berry. I think it was anyway, in the 90s. Yeah. You guys going to let me tell the fucking story or what? <laughs> well, we're going to interrupt. But keep going. <laughs> Jesus. This is a dialogue. Come on, man. People are all confused. The listeners are like, just tell the story. All right, all right. Go ahead, Rusty. You have the floor, sir. I so, yield my time to you. Yes. So, I yield my time to the gentleman <laughs> of Davy. <laughs> the balance of my time <laughs> to the distinguished gentleman from Davy. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. All right. So retarded Zach apparently went and saw <laughs> Catwoman, the movie. Correct. So he comes out. We're me and my friend. I don't remember who it was. I think it was. Two Story John, because he lived in a two-story house. <laughs> <laughs> My mom so, called him Two Story John. You're going to Two Story John's house. So, living the dream. So, me and John are doing something outside, and and here comes retarded Zach, and he's and he and he makeshifted a Catwoman uni- outfit. You know the the everything, the whole nine, the and mask. his whip was like this ten foot long rubber snake, a black <laughs> rubber snake. <laughs> And what was talk- the what was the uniform or what was the you know was it spandex or what? No, I don't. I don't think he went that far. He think he just had like a black garbage bag. Head. He had like the, the thing around his the Hamburglar mask. Yeah, he, <laughs> the Lone <laughs> Ranger mask. I mean, I I don't. The only reason I think we knew it was Catwoman because he because he was walking up and, and he, he made was it whipping clear. the whip and he's like. I am Catwoman. <laughs> I am Catwoman. And we're like, all right, cool. We're just like, all right, cool. You know, and he's just walking up, walking up. And thank God I was on the latter end of the two of us, me and my friend. He was about 20 feet in front of me, closer to retarded Zach walking up. <laughs> and, and retarded Zach is whipping this whip, and, and none of us ever thought that he was going to whip any of us. And, man... Sure enough, dude, he got in my buddy and just started whipping the shit out of him. Dude. No I mean, way. on his back, the kid's screaming, yelling, he's running, retarded Zach's running after him. I'm like, holy shit, retarded Zach's going crazy with this snake. And, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that was that, man. It was... <laughs> I'm Catwoman! I'm Catwoman! And then what happened? I, I really don't remember. Come on. It was... I don't remember. Did he catch happened. anyone with that whip? I think maybe he got like yelled at, but he's retarded. What do you do? You know, like, I'm like, Did you go to school that with was this bad. guy? But did, did you go to school with this guy? I went to school with him in high school. Actually, I I I, I didn't see him. I moved out of that that neighborhood, and I didn't see Zach until my freshman year of high school. And he was still cat. <laughs> let me guess. Let me guess. He was valedictorian. You were salutatorian. <laughs> I didn't graduate high school. I, I left. <laughs> did but, he? <laughs> but he did. I did. <laughs> did he graduate? I don't know. He graduated, didn't he, Rusty? He, you couldn't make it. <laughs> but but <laughs> retarded sack. <laughs> got I mean, through. I, he was in some special program. Something. Who's returning now, Ricky? <laughs> <laughs> that school had a program for deaf people. and. Tell the story of- about the deaf kid giving an oral report. That was a good one. <laughs> so I, the school that I went to was uh, there was the, the principal used to say there's no minorities because there's so many different cultures. Pretty much, it was predominantly black and Spanish school, and so there it were was those pretty minorities. Entertaining. A lot of motherfuckers just didn't give a shit about anything that came out of their mouth or whatever. So there was a deaf program there and there was quite a few deaf kids and I was in the lower end of the um, the deaf class the placement 
<laughs> I, like you have advanced, you know, you have advanced, and that's way up here. And I was like, you were, way down there, you know. The, the, the so slower, I was, the slower. I was in there with the deaf kids. Okay. For some classes. <laughs> that academics was not so your strong apparently suit. when when your battery is going out on your hearing aid, it makes a low pitched. No, sound high that's pitched. like a high at high pitch, like. Correct. And so this this kid gets up there, and he's like, "We got to do like a." This oral is the best part. Oral report from a deaf. Yeah, because or- <laughs> yeah, he can kind of talk a little bit. He's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Given this oral report that, like, Rich, you're alienating our every... deaf listeners <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hear every few words. But the whole time he's doing it, it's like, <laughs> Let's see what and, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and then there's this, <laughs> this kid in class. He's like, Hey, Tyler. Your fucking battery's going low, man. You need to fix that. That's just really annoying, man. It's bothering the shit out of somebody. You. And he's like, and he didn't say anything back. He kept doing his report. And he's like, come on, man. For real. You need to fix that shit. We need to get some battery. Like, like and this is how he's talking. And then the deaf kid started yelling back at him. I can't hear what He's like, what? Well, what? Well, I can't hear you. My battery I guess now. he said the wrong thing to the kid. And the kid just ran up in the middle of class. And just, boom, knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, it's pretty friggin' awesome, actually. Did Did you think actually, that this? Twenty years later, I'm telling the story. Did so. you think this was strange at the time? <laughs> no, I didn't at all. Not even a little bit. This is the, the best thing about these stories is that Rusty had no concept that these were unusual stories <laughs> no. until he started telling them. We were like, holy shit, dude, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> You've been listening to the best of Sex on Kava. We hope you enjoyed hearing it as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, Before I go, I just want to make a special announcement. Saturday, January 9th, we've got a special Sex on Kava show we're doing just for you. It's called Sex on Kava Live. It's a combination stand-up and podcast experience with audience participation, games, and live stand-up comedy. We want you to be a part of it. So come on out to Awana Kava Lounge, 2762 East Oakland Park Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Saturday, January 9th at 10 p.m. And you can be on Sex on Kava Live. The show is free because this is an experiment. We're going to try it for the first time ever. Do a little live show for everyone in the Kava Bar. And uh, we'd love to see you there. So uh, without further ado... This is Ethan Moore saying thanks for listening to Sex on Kava. Hope to see you Saturday, January 9th. And Bula. You gotta use your eyes, brother. Right there.